Hi guys, this is Leah from Mommyish, and I wanted to give a specific tutorial just for my Photoshop Element users. I know it can be a little scary uh, when working with styles and actions, especially if you're not very familiar, but I promise you it is easy squeezy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my tester document. Then I'm going to load my styles and actions. Now you can do this just by um, double clicking on these. Uh, in newer versions or you can load them in. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I'm in expert mode. My view in, or window, I'm gonna make sure that the actions tab is pulled up. So here he is right here. This is my little actions tab. Um, you could load through here as well, load actions, as you see there, and I could just double click there and it's gonna pop up there at the bottom. I could do the same thing here with styles. I would just go to load styles and here it is, my enamel styles, and it's gonna load those right up. So that's our first step. The second step is to have a document that you're wanting to work in to create a little enamel pin. Now, the first style, or I should say a set of actions, is for a single layer only. That means that this would not work. This is two layers. We have our little bubble and then the heart. So I'm gonna show you how this works by duplicating this layer here and creating a new document. So I'm just going to put this in a new place all on its lonesome. All right. Um, this action is going to guide you and tell you that you have to have your foreground color to be the color that you want the metal rim to be. So I have it in a gold. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And it's that little stop is just telling you exactly what I just said. Now, one thing about this action is it's a quick way to create an element. However, um, in Photoshop Elements, you're very limited. You can't really edit it past this point. Like, it's it's done. <laughs> so, um, because I can't open smart objects in PSE. So, um, until that changes, you it goes with the medium size enamel and adds the little extra depth. Um, then you can go ahead and use your give it depth action. You see that's underneath the create metal rim. And I'll just hit play there so you can see that run real quick. And that's it. It would be um, pretty quick to get a little element done. And my computer should be catching back up with us. There we go. <laughs> so there it is. There's our little heart element. Now, um, if we're doing a layered element in Photoshop Elements, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. The first thing I'm going to do is use the Create Metal Rim. Now, if you want to go with the default, this is a, I believe, a 5 or 10 pixel. Let's see, which one did I use? I can see by, oh, it's 5 pixel. Um, I can see by looking at the little steps in the action. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit play. Now, this one doesn't take into account your foreground color. So if you want to change it, you have to change it after the fact. All right. So there it is. It's created us a little silver um, rim. Next step, I would go ahead, I would go to my effects, double check my layer that's chosen. I'm going to add a metal style to that. Then I'm going to select my heart. I'm going to add one of the little enamel, um, yeah, I think a bit of a bigger one there. Just for the heck of it, and we'll see how they look. Hopefully not too crazy. <laughs> there we go. Um, once I've gotten to this point, uh, we're here where I could create, make a selection and delete this bit out. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select this layer, do a control A. I'm going to just barely move it. And it gives me my little marching ants. I'm going to go now to the bubble and delete from that layer. And then that fixes it right up. All right. Um, once I'm happy with the way these two guys look, I'm going to go ahead and merge those layers together. It looks like the one layer disappeared on my screen for some reason and it's making me like panic. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate my metal rim. So I duplicate the layer. This one, I'm gonna change the style on it. I'm gonna turn off the style at first, then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the under shadow. I'm gonna go back to my layers tab, do control G. So that layer is then clipped to the layer underneath and then right click, merge visible, and my little enamel um, 
guy is all done and looks so cute. I love how this looks. So this is how you use this set in Photoshop Elements. Now, if you, again, if you want to have more control, and I'm going to go back in my history a bit, and I'm just going to close it and open it back up again. That'll probably be easier. Um, if you want to have more control, what you're going to do when you open your file, you're going to first take all your layers, if it's a multi-layer pen, and duplicate them. So you're going to duplicate your layers. You're going to have a second set on top. You're going to go to your effects, to the styles that we've loaded. And from here, you're going to apply the styles that you want with the thickness, right? Just like that. So there's different thicknesses. You can choose one layer or two. You can change them up. Um, it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. All right. So once I have those guys the way I want them, I want to see how much you can do here in Photoshop Elements. You could change the so size manually by double-clicking your FX. And here is where you're going to change your color if you wanted to. Just, I always say to make a note to be sure to save this color somewhere copy the color uh, hex code or something so you don't lose it if you want to do the 3d effect you want to make sure that the colors are matching or maybe not maybe that would look kind of cool to have like two-tone I don't know maybe all right so that's okay there I'm gonna go back to this one to the one on top and I'm gonna change that color to the same one just like that now I'm gonna take these two layers merge them together and now I'm going to go ahead and add the metal style to it. See? Ta-da! Pretty easy. Now I could use that um, other set or that other style if I didn't feel like doing the delete selection. So for the, I duplicated my heart. I'm going to add this style. I'm going to go back, add my regular enamel style. And if I feel pretty done, I'm just add my enamel style to the uh, this part. Merge my layers together. Merge visible. And I'm done. So there you go. That's how this works in Photoshop Elements. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love it. All right. Sorry. I get way too excited about these things. Oh, I need to add depth. Give it depth. Run that action. The color is hopefully chosen properly maybe <laughs> we'll see all right here we go moment of truth eh, pretty close not the same but it's pretty close <laughs> so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this very short tutorial and I hope you have fun um, the if you're having a problem with the actions or styles make sure you delete them out completely and reinstall them again just in case. I was having an issue and when I deleted it and reinstalled it, it worked perfectly. So um, that's all. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.